Hey guys, it's Chris from Versus 3D and uh, Ty insisted on being in this video um, because his dad has been out of the house an awful lot lately so he needs some daddy time. Anyway, um, I am here to not really announce because they've been announced but just do a really, really quick video introducing the three new machines from Anycubic that are coming out in March this month. Um, we have... Uh, I, Ty, can I? Okay. Uh, this is the Anycubic Mega Zero, and this is the long awaited Photon Zero, and even the longer awaited Wash and Cure machine. These things, um, I, I've had them for a few weeks and I've been so busy, I haven't been able to do a lot of stuff with them. So today I'm doing a lot of catch up work. Um, the Mega Zero right here, I just finished the build video, so you'll probably see me wearing the same shirt in that video, sorry. Um, a couple of key features that I've, I want to point out on this machine. So it is a 220 by 220 build volume, but the Z is 250, so it's bigger than, uh, say, the Mega, the i3 Mega or the Mega S, um, but still not quite as big as the Mega X, which I love. Um, and the Big, big thing for me, I'm really excited to try this, is the new extruder. Hi, buddy. Ty is very excited, too. Um, the new extruder is more of a BMG style. It's dual geared, so that's going to allow um, a lot easier printing with flexible materials, um, soft PLA, TPU, TPE, things like that. Um, the one downfall you know, that I see is that it does not have a heated bed, but that's how they're going to keep it at the price point it's at. So... Um, I know a lot of people don't use heated beds anyway, so that doesn't really matter for some people. Um, so move on to the Photon Zero right here. This guy, can I have my hand? Thanks. Um, the Photon Zero, uh, this little guy, budget, budget friendly. I'm not even going to say what the prices are here. You're going to have to look them up online. Um, it, Ty really likes that spool holder. Um, so the, the print volume is a little bit smaller than, say, the, the Photon or the Photon S. And it's not a 2K screen, but all of the print tests that I've seen so far from Anycubic, the quality is fantastic. They did something, uh, the way the UV lights are actually positioned now, it allows for higher resolution without higher resolution printing without having that really high res screen. So I'm really looking forward to shooting the video for this and uh, testing it out. Uh, and this also uses Anycubic's new slicer as well. Um, and I believe you can use other slicers. And then moving over to the washing cure, I have been waiting for this guy for ages. I knew about it about six months ago and I've been dying to get one and it's been here and I haven't been able to use it yet. Uh, the way I've got it set up, this is set up for the wash feature. So you put the vat in that comes with this sealable lid. And whether you're using um, a water-based resin, you can just fill that up with water. Or if you're using uh, a regular standard resin, you'll use either alcohol or resin away or something like that. And then right in here, the basket is set in there. So the basket will actually uh, hold your prints or it also, oh, there he goes. Oh, now I have a hand. Or you can also take the basket out. And then this whole little bag of parts, which I haven't taken out of the package yet, actually connects on here. And you can screw on your Photon build plate or some other build plates as well will fit. But if you can't, you can always use the basket. And then once that is, once you've washed what you need to wash, you'll take the platform and that just locks right in there. And then you'll go ahead and cure. So this machine, again, budget, budget friendly. There was another company that just released one recently and it is not what I personally would consider budget friendly. This one, again, look up the price online, you are gonna die. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to do, like I said, a quick video just showing these guys off. I am going to do full videos. I've already shot the build video for this, obviously, because it's built. So I'm going to be shooting some print videos on this. I'm going to start the videos for uh, these two guys today. So 
If you are interested and you want to see, please subscribe. And if you click on the bell, you'll get notified when the videos get published. Hopefully I'll have them up in a few days. And uh, other than that, I just want to say great job in a cubic. Uh, you guys nailed it. So uh, keep an eye out. And this is Chris from Versus 3D. And without Ty, oh, he's still down there though. And uh, I will see you soon.